complete, complete, complete in Iman. I am complete in Iman. Complete, complete, complete in Iman. I am complete. Sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hallelujah. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, it's complete. Oh, it's complete. Hallelujah. Complete, complete, hallelujah. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost. Send that fire again, the Holy Ghost. Send the fire. Send the fire! Send the fire! Rest, 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 rest! The Holy Ghost, fire burning in my soul. Oh, oh. Holy Ghost of fire, Holy Ghost of fire, Thank you, Ghost of fire, fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost on fire. Holy Ghost on fire. Hey, Pentecost on fire. The fullness of a golden bodily dwelling in the Lord. The fullness of a golden bodily dwelling in the Lord. The fullness of the golden body is dwelling in the Lord. Oh, I am complete. Where is complete? Oh, where is oh, where is complete? Hallelujah. Oh, where is complete? complete? Hallelujah. Amen. All eyes closed. Listen, put with the external and the internal ear this morning. Three words of prophecy have already gone forth for all those who are gathered here this morning. They are strange words, but let me say them. The Lord said, He will carry out mysterious compensation. Two, the Lord said he will bury without any remnant long term afflictions. <laughs> and three, the Lord said he will give many sweatless victory. <laughs> Those are the three words of prophecy. So I want you to. Uh, Believe that you are in a war front now. And those things must get to you before you leave here. <laughs> so with a voice praying with, like a mad prophet and like a man from another world. With a voice that has no respect for the gates of hell. You will shout this after me loud and clear. Dragon of darkness. Sign against my lot. Can you say this loud and clear? You know the Bible says the lords are falling to me in goodly places. There is a portion for your life. An allocation from heaven. Whether you get the allocation or not is another story. It is that allocation we are crying for now. 
Can you shout it again loud and clear? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the dragon. The dragon must die. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody over there has just now been ill from a long term sickness. Check, check your brothers I'm talking about. You came here with it, but check it now. Just because of that prayer you pray. You will shout this again loud and clear. Dragon of shame. Sign against my lot. The dragon of shame. Pata Santa Ribo Kapanta Naka. The Ribo Sambunda Kataya was Shanta Rabo Kapolaba. The Ribo Kapanda Kaya was Shanta Rabo Kayaba. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The woman praying seriously over there. The Lord said, I should tell you that the voice of your domestic witchcraft will be silenced before the end of today. Dragon of frustration. A sign against my Lord. Your time is up. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the dragon. Deal with it. Then we pray. I see somebody over there. That's your boss. Is coming to you to apologize. And return what has been withdrawn from you. Father, we thank you for a money like this. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, this money open our understanding. Lay your hands upon our lives. By the time we leave this place, let those three words of prophecies that have gone forth become our Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Say this after me. The serpents in my family land. Can you say that loud and clear? That's our topic. Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. I give unto you power to tread upon, to trample upon every serpent and scorpion and over every power of the enemy. The serpent and scorpion Jesus was referring to there is the power of darkness in all its ramifications. So, there are serpents that we need to deal with here today. Those of you who know a little bit about the general of Asia, you know that my basic scientific training was in molecular genetics. I, I, we did, I did genetics. Genetics is the study of heredity and variation and how they are transmitted from offspring to offspring. For example now, if I say you should twitch your nose, as you are sitting down there, let your nose alone move. 
Some people may not be able to do it. If I say, roll your tongue, some people cannot roll that tongue. If I say, arr, some will say, arr. Because they can't they can call the arr very well, arr. All these are genetics. Some are very short. And by the time you look sometimes, you find that that is short, mommy is short. So there are things that you inherit from your forefathers. You are a combination of those things you inherit. Up to the tiniest hair on your head could be an inherited one. Your hair could be like that of your grandmother or like your mother. It's all in your blood, in your genes. So this is why sometimes when people go to doctors, <clears throat> name, write it down. Address, write it down. How old are you? Write it down. What is the problem? Yes, I, I used to have pain in this place. I used to do this. I used to do that. It's okay. Uh, do you have a mother? Yes. Father? Yes. Are they still alive? Then no. So at what age did they die? He's writing it down. How did they die? High blood pressure? So oh, yes. Another person in your family, is there anybody in your family who died of this, that, that, that? So has anybody, anybody ever been insane in your family? What that doctor is asking you is simple human genetics. Do even the doctors know that you could inherit liability from your ancestors. I pray that here today, every liability in your genes must dry up and die. Now! In the name of Jesus, let your amen be loud and clear. In genetics, once you have inherited a thing, no medicine. Because it's inside your DNA, it's inside your genes, it's inside your blood. There's nothing anybody can do. It's inside the place. So the only intervention is divine intervention. When we started primary school, schools were very, very primitive in those days. In fact, in the place where I started primary school, we didn't, there is no single nursery primary school. What is nursery in our village? When they say A for apple, we have never seen an apple before. What apple are you talking about? So nobody th talks about A for apple to us. We don't have exercise books in primary one. We had slates. You write there with chalk. When you want to enter school, they don't bother about your age. They say put your hand above your head. Make it touch your ear. So if you now come from a family where their hands are genetically short, it means that you may never get to school till you are 50. There are things that we get from our ancestors. Some very, very bad. And I tell you, some are good. Some are good. The strength of your enemy is the maintenance of your ignorance. The more ignorant you are, the more the enemy will prey on you and cheat you. Like I told you, doctors want to know your family history. Doctors want to know what you got from your parents. There are serpents in plenty of family lines. Let me take some Bible examples. It's serious prayer we need to pray, but let me play background so you understand. Abraham in the Bible slept with his housemaid. It was in his blood. By the time he got to Jacob, Jacob too slept with his housemaid. Abraham in the Bible married a very fair and beautiful woman. And he had to tell lies so that they wouldn't kill him because of the woman. Isaac too married a fair and beautiful woman so that they won't kill him. He too told a lie. Jacob too married a fair and beautiful woman, but in the night they changed it over. They gave him the wrong one in the night. So he married in the night. It was in the morning and I saw the wife. Uh, plenty of people like that who had already married in the dark. Now, now that there is light, they don't like the woman again. But they have no option. Whatsoever 
God has put together. Let no man, woman, father-in-law, mother-in-law, strange woman put asunder. Whether you were drunk when they were joining you together, it doesn't matter. We are joined. And that's it. And this went on because it's inside that blood. Inside that blood. And as you begin to read again, Gideon came from a family that worshipped idols. And God told him to destroy that idol before he could serve God. He did. But the thing was already in the blood. Gideon eventually went back again to those idols that were in his family house. And technically, Gideon relocated himself back to the poverty that the Lord found him. This is a very serious matter. In the family of Judah, anytime something good was coming their way, a woman comes along and does it. They all seem there to have weaknesses for fair and beautiful women. There are some men like that too. Anytime they see some kind of woman, their brain is upside down. These are things in the gene. The devil is a very clever devil. He knows what is inside your genes. He knows what you are prone to do. He knows the liabilities that you have inherited. You cannot stop the devil from fighting you. But you can stop him from winning the battle. But you fight with knowledge. You fight with knowledge. So there are plenty of generational curses, generational liability that, has, that is flowing in the blood of people. And then we now begin to read the, 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 the story of Abraham again. We found that all the false bonds were disinherited. Ishmael went. Isaac took his position. Esau went. Jacob took his position. Reuben went. Somebody like Joseph now came in. Even when Joseph brought his two children, Ephraim and Manasseh, the man crossed hands. The, the junior one had taken over. Even when that woman bore twins, the first one came out and they said, this is the first one, and they tied a scarlet ribbon on his arm. Do you know because of that thing in the blood, even that one went back into the womb and his junior brother came out. So you can see the influence of these things. Today is a day to cry to the heavens. There are plenty and plenty of terrible serpents in the family line, which we need to kill. Just like you see in that of Abraham, it went on and on and on, and it goes on unless there is an intervention. Unless there is a massive intervention. But if we remain ignorant, the enemy will prey on us. That's why today we should reverse whatever the enemy has put in motion. It is possible for you to pray this kind of prayer and you don't know what's happening in your body again. Because the fire of God will enter into your DNA, into your genes and begin to alter things. There is no medical science that can change uh, SS to AA. No, it's only divine intervention. And all cases like that are, came as a result of prayer. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18... Luke chapter 4, verse 18. One of the most powerful scriptures in the whole of the Bible. He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. It is time for you to say a capital no to certain things that you know is in your family life, is going on, and like father, like son, like mother, like daughter, is happening in your life. In some families, you can see the serpent of inherited poverty. Nobody in that family has ever built a house. Nobody has ever been financially independent. Nobody has ever had enough to give to others. That serpent of poverty must die. Yeah. And that's why in those kind of families, sometimes even if these people go and start building houses in the town, they die even before the houses are completed. I had a brother the other time. 
very kindly hearted brother. His name was Moshud. So uh, he used to come to me. I said, hey, Daniel, you don't visit home. This is not good. The visiting home. I said, look, there is a time to take over. There is a time to take over. When I'm ready, I will manifest. But I'm not going. I said, but you, you need to pray. He didn't believe me. They started building a house in the village. One day, they found him on his bed and worms were coming out of his nostril. He died. He was buried inside his uncompleted building. Can you raise up your right hand? Say, so every power assigned to terminate my glory. In the name of Jesus. Somebody has to pray this prayer loud and clear. Piata Santa Kayabo Shandira. Ribala Kaponda Kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is happening here this morning. The serpent in some family land, which they have inherited, is that when they start getting ahead, and people are saying, hey, then everything will just fall apart. They start getting ahead, things just fall apart. This is some family. The serpent is that they keep falling into the sin of their own parents. And they, don't, they, can't, they, they want to help it, they can't help it. It's very, very sad. In some families, the serpent is that they don't live long. 40, they're dead. 50, they're dead. It, it will appear as if the curse of Eli is on the family. God told Eli, there shall not be an old man in your house forever. He said, all the men in your house shall die at the prime of their age. Cut. And he just went on like that. In some families, they are fond of cursing their children. Great grandfather cursed grandfather. Grandfather cursed father. And now you notice that your own father too has cursed you. Just by sitting down and doing nothing, you don't get anything. In some families, the serpent is lying. When they tell you that is son, you better get an umbrella quick. In some families, all the men in that family as a matter of necessity of what is in their blood must marry witches. They, w- they don't like those women who are not witches. In some families, the women must always marry the men who will give them thorough beating as if they are in a boxing ring. Sometimes beat them to the point of coma. And then the senior sister comes to visit her and that's where I say, ah, your husband beat you. That's how my own beat me last week. It's in the blood. It's already passed across. There's some families. Somebody dies. They want to go and bury the dead. There's an accident. Those who went to bury the dead die while burying the dead. I've seen a family. One day, all three children who are abroad were deported to Mutala Mohammed Airport. The one from Canada, the one from UK, the one from US, and three of them were deported on the same day, and they met at the airport on the same day. In some families, the serpent is sicknesses. In some families, the serpent is skin disorders. In some families, there will always be a young girl, a teenager, who got pregnant in school. In some families, there will be a time when somebody just walks away and nobody knows where the person has gone. We can't find the cops. In some families, the woman will be doing so well, but the husband will never do well. In some families, the marry good husband to start with, after some time, the man begins to smoke him, begins to do all kinds of things, it becomes useless. The other time, I must have shared this with you before, a woman came to me for prayers. Very serious madam. When I say madam, I mean madam. She said, man of God, pray for me. My husband does not go to work. Say, immediately I'm going in the morning, Darling, you're going to work. 
Let me give you a pack. Let me give you a pack. And he will now cross his leg and watch CNN and Sky Television all day. When she's back, oh, Dali, you're back. I'm hungry. The woman goes to the kitchen to cook. Then when he's getting close to Christmas, he says, Darling, are you not going to sew clothes for your husband? He says, Darling, you better sew better clothes because if you don't, I will wear a short knicker and follow you to church. The man is a man of God. That is my situation. I say, let us pray. We pray. Let's say, son, this is inherited. So I open my eyes. I say, Madam, how many women do you have in your family? So there are five. How many of them are married? She said, I'm the only one. Then I understood. It, was, it runs in the line. Women walk, 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 walk. The men don't want to do anything. There's some families. Marriage breakdown. Divorce. Your great grandfather divorced his wife. Your father divorced, divorced his wife. Your grandfather divorced his wife. And right now, you want to divorce your wife? Now, somebody like that, say, Jay, you have to come. This woman must leave this house today. That was many, many years ago. Or 15 years ago. I said, this woman must leave this house today. I went to visit them to calm them down. I was explaining to this man, your father divorced your mother. According to what you are telling me, your grandfather too did the same thing. This is once also happen now. Don't let it happen now. Say no, I don't, look at, don't, don't say that, don't say that. This woman is a useless woman. Come, come, follow me, follow me. I followed him. He took me to their wardrobe. He brought a stick and brought out his wife's pants underwear. They were dirty. Very dirty. So you see her? Dirty, dirty pants. How can a woman's pants be smelling? He was dragging them out one by one with stick. But as he was dragging them out, I noticed he was pushing some in. I said, excuse me, sir. Those ones are pushing in. Can you bring that one out? I said, no, this is the one I want you to say. I said, no, no, no. The ones who was pushing in, they were his own. His own were dark. It's not even dirty. Dark. It's because it's in his genes. The thing is pushing you, do it. Your father has done it, do it. What has done it? Do it. It is, it is disastrous. When we were little boys and we were in the choir, we didn't know anything there. In those days, during burial ceremony, we were the ones they arranged at the front. All the babas would be coming at the back and the big ones. We didn't, and we didn't know anything about deliverance. Because we were supposed to sing. So we were at the front. We were the first people who entered the cemetery. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who live by faith before the world confess the name of Jesus be forever blessed. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Summit. This is how we sang it to the cemetery one day. And the pastor conducting the burial. He said, you people here, the only said that this woman has gone to heaven. And they were reading, I'll be sure they, they were reading her history. She has seven children. One for John Ajale Kuku. One for Jonathan Wonsu. One for all the seven children. Have different, different fathers. The blood. In some families, it's bank, the serpent is bankruptcy. The wrong bankrupt. Start a business, they run back up. In some families, nobody goes to the universities. Anyone that attempts to go that high will die. That's what happens in some families. When I travel abroad for my degree, I met a Nigerian. The first time I met him, I greeted him. But God opened my eyes. I saw a masquerade follow him. Masquerade in the dream means a central spirit. So I said, my brother, there is a masquerade following you. Cut it off. He loved that in <laughs> Yeah, in the UK, you are seeing masculinity. <laughs> so I, I left him alone. He was studying food science. PhD is for three years. He studied it for eight years. 
and before you pass a PhD, you attend what you call an interview, a viva, somebody, a professor will come and be asking you questions verbally. So his viva came. The professor was there. And the professor asked the simplest question. Because to get a PhD, you must write a book called a thesis. And the, prof the professor asked the simplest question. What is the title of your thesis? He was the one that was written it for eight years. Beloved, he could not remember. And you know those professors, are external examiners, they are known to be very, very vicious. So the man kept repeating the same question. That one he could not answer. Kept repeating it. Kept repeating it. Kept repeating it. And that was the question he asked him for one hour. And after one hour, he said, well, if, you, if I assume that you did not do this work, because if you did it, you won't forget the title. Therefore, fail. Ah. It was when the man said, fail. And I remember the name. I was already asleep at 12 midnight. I did knock on my door. Co, 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 co. Daniel. That's my first name. Come out, oh. There is fire on the mountain. Come out. So I came out. Ah, what's the matter? The, the, the masquerade you saw. This is the time to kill it. I said, what happened? And now told me. He is the first person in the whole of his family line to get a degree. Now he wants to get a PhD. The masquerade followed him to the UK. Can you raise up your right hand? Masquerade power! I stand against my destiny. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. Jesus, then we pray. In some families, the serpent is suicide. In some, is disfavor. In some, is just hatred. People don't just like you. In some, is marital problems. In some, is gynecological problems. This is a sad situation. 1996, I had to pray for seven brothers from the same mother. The doctor said. Their sperm count, each is zero. Zero. All of them, zero. All seven, zero. But to the glory of them, one of them has three children and is a pastor here. Now, to deal with this serpent, you must be born again. To deal with this serpent, you must repent from every known sin. To deal with this serpent, you must die to self. To deal with this serpent, you must have aggressive determination to change the course of your life for the better. To kill the serpent. If you come from a cooperative family, you will have to do a family deliverance. And you, the whole family will have to pray destiny changing prayer. To change, to kill the serpent. And this is why we are here now. And that's why the word of prophecy had gone forth. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up with boiling anger. Boiling anger. The righteous anger, the kind of anger that says, Well, I must pray until something happens. I must pray until something happens. If you are here, I notice that the sickness of your father is already afflicting you. Pray well. The agenda of that sickness is to kill you. Pray very, very well. You are here, you notice that what destroyed the health of your parents, you are already doing it. In some family, everybody is also always eating salt, 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 salt. If you give them food, the food has salt, they will pour more salt again. In some families, sugar, 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 sugar. Seven St. Louis cube, ten St. Louis cube inside each gari. Then after that, you will drink Coke again. And each bottle of Coke contains a minimum of 15 cubes of sugar. Even that one you call bitter lemon or quinine is worse. There are plenty of sugar there and those one. You give some people orange. Please drink orange. No, 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 no. I want minerals. And you 
plenty of sugar. You drink it. Because he is in the blood. What killing his parent wants to kill him and is already preparing. Close your eyes. If you are that person who received an instant killing a while ago, I don't want the enemy to put it back. Please come to the front while we are praying so that we can pray with you. Oh God! Allah! And purge my family land! Uh-huh. <laughs> That's wonderful. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus. Masekaya bo shendera bo kopola bara bo santa. Purge my family life. Then we pray. Things are happening already. Circle of darkness. Sister Ronka over there. Is that how you are going to pray? You forgot what is happening to you. Circle of darkness. In my family life. In the name of Jesus. Potesente yaboko shende raboko pola kayaba. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Open your mouth and decree. This is why you are here. Continue, 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 continue. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, patterns of darkness in my family life break. In the name of Jesus, break the patterns, break the patterns, break the patterns. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I commit this your children at the front unto your holy hands. Let the blood of Jesus cover their lives. Let their testimonies be permanent. Let their healing be permanent. Father, anything that you need to remove of anybody's life here to give them perfect health. Take it out now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat now, rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. The next three prayers. If you want me to prostrate and beg you, I will pray this like a mad prophet. Because the angels to carry these instructions are already here. Say this after me. The mistakes of my parents will not become my tragedy. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare that word. Their mistakes will not become a tragedy. Ah! 
हाँ समथिंग इज हैपी हियर इन जीजस नेम वी प्रे आई रिफ्यूज टू स्ट्रगल विथ वॉट माई पेरेंट्स स्ट्रगल विथ मे बी योर पेरेंट्स स्ट्रगल विथ सर्टेन थिंग आई आर स्ट्रगल विथ सेम थिंग आई रिफ्यूज टू स्ट्रगल With what my parents struggle with, in the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name, we pray. I get to the third prayers. Something is happening. These yokes are being broken. Yokes of profitless hard work. The yoke of failure at the edge of breakthroughs. The yoke of constant witchcraft attacks. The yoke of untimely death. The yoke of dream attacks. The yoke of clinical prophecies. It's happening. Makatanda rabu sandia, riba la kapanta, le kande sende ya bo shende raba kaya ba. You will now raise up your voice like fire and like thunder. Oh God, Allah, use me to change the history of my family. Can I hear the sisters shouting this loud and clear? Brothers shouting louder than the sisters. Brothers, is that the loudest brothers can shout it? Everybody together now! In the name of Jesus. Aha! Something is happening here. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Let us share the grace in fellowship.